In this example, I need to solve the inequality and write the answer in interval notation. Here's my inequality, x squared minus 9x is less than 36. Well, what type of inequality is this? Notice the highest exponent on an x is a 2. So it's a quadratic inequality, and I'm going to solve it using the boundary point method. And quadratic inequalities are just a special case of polynomial inequalities. And here are the steps for solving polynomial inequalities using the boundary point or critical point method. In step one, I need to find the boundary points by changing the inequality to an equal sign and then solving the resulting equation. The real solutions of this equation are the boundary points. So looking at this problem, instead of the less than, I need to use an equal. So I'm going to have x squared minus 9x equals 36. So this is a quadratic equation. To solve them, we always need 0 on one side. So I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. And I get three unlike terms on the left-hand side, writing it in descending order. I get x squared minus 9x minus 36 equals 36 minus 36 is 0. Now let's see if this quadratic equation will factor. It's one of the easier problems. The leading coefficient of the x squared is a 1. So I need to look for two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and add to negative 9. As the two numbers multiply to a negative, they have to have opposite signs. And if they add to a negative, the bigger one has to be negative. Hopefully the two numbers come to you quickly, but if not, I'm going to show you a systematic table let me put the video on pause for a second. So I started with 1 and negative 36 that multiplied to negative 36 but added to negative 35. 2 and negative 18 didn't work, but 3 times negative 12 is negative 36 and 3 plus a negative 12 is negative 9, the number I wanted. So those are my two factors. So I'm going to get x plus 3 times x minus 12 equals 0. Two factors multiplied together equals 0. Set each of them equal to 0. x plus 3 equals 0 and x minus 12 equals 0. From the first one, subtract 3 from both sides. You get x equals negative 3. And from the second one, add 12 to both sides. You get x equals positive 12. So these x values are the boundary points for this problem. So I have completed step one. Step two says to place the boundary points on a number line in the correct numerical order. This divides the number line into intervals. So I need to draw my number line. Here is my number line. And negative 3 is less than 12, so it should be plotted to the left of negative 12. So here's x equals negative 3. Here's x equals 12. And those two numbers divide the number line into three separate regions. I have the region that's less than negative 3, the region between negative 3 and 12, and the region that is greater than 12. So now I've completed step two. Step three says to choose one number called a test value from each interval and determine if the inequality is true or false at that value. We need to select the intervals where the inequality is true. So I'm going to need a test value in each of my three intervals. 
Looking at the interval where x is less than negative 3, does it matter which x value I pick? No. I'm just going to pick x equals negative 5. But I could have equally picked x equals negative 4 or negative 10. It doesn't matter as long as it's to the left of negative 3 on the number line. So I'm going to plug this value into the very original inequality up here. So I have x squared minus 9x, so I'm going to get negative 5 all squared minus 9 times x, which is negative 5. Is that less than positive 36? Negative 5 all squared is positive 25. Negative 9 times negative 5 is positive 45. Is that less than 36? 25 plus 45 is 70. Is 70 less than 36? That is a false statement, so I do not want this region here. Moving on to the next interval between negative 3 and 12, I'm going to pick x equals 0. I like x equals 0. It's lazy arithmetic. And to save time, I'm going to put the video on pause. So when x equals 0, plugging it into the original inequality, I get 0 squared minus 9 times 0. Is that less than 36? Is 0 less than 36? That is true. So I want this whole region here. So I need everything between negative 3 and 12. In the last region, I picked as my test value x equals 13. Does 13 squared minus 9 times 13, is that less than 36? Well, is 52 less than 36? That is false, so I do not want that region. So we have now completed step 3. And finally, step 4 says the boundary points are included in the solution set if the inequality has the equals in it, if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, and then we'd use square brackets. The boundary points are excluded from the solution set if the inequality is greater than or less than, and we use parentheses. So looking at our problem, it's less than. I do not include the boundary point, so I'm going to use parentheses. So there is a graph of my solution set. We need to write it in interval notation. So my interval is going to start at negative 3. We must use a parentheses since we're not including the boundary points, comma, all the way up to 12 with another parentheses on it. So that is the answer to this problem in interval notation.